Yeah, I claim it's so easy that, you, that I can teach you how to use it in five minutes. All right. So, um, what is it about? I need to generate text, um, for instance, HTML or LaTeX or emails or C++ code, what have you. Um, and for that, I would like to have a text template system that has a simple yet powerful language that works for all kinds of text, so at least for the kinds that I showed, uh, and is statically compiled because I want to get my uh, template errors at compile time, not at runtime, so I don't want to have a 500 internal server error, for instance. And for this, I in, uh, invented KISS templates at Kate Guest, it's uh, short for keep it simple, stupid. And this is what it looks like. So um, the red thing is, um, is, a, is a marker for, for, it, for the template, so uh, a template called sample in this case. Um, inside the temple, uh, sem uh, template, you can have uh, C++ code. So for instance, functions. Functions are the most useful thing. Uh, every, anything that starts with a percent is a function. Uh, is, is, sorry, is C++ code. Uh, and inside of functions, you can have more C++ code, or you can have a mixture of text and expressions that are sent to a serializer. Uh, these expressions uh, are, are enclosed in this, uh, here with um, a dollar and curly braces, and they, the serializer is also responsible for any kind of escaping. So if, uh, if the target format is HTML, then for instance, the uh, less than uh, sign would be escaped. Right, so. Um, when I say uh, any kind of C++ uh, after a percent sign, really any kind, so we can include um, stuff, we can uh, have namespaces, we can have loops, whatever you want, um, and then uh, the, the expressions in these uh, things that are going to send to the serializer can be just any kind of C++ expressions. Okay, so um, clearly th this is not C++, so uh, we have to generate C++ from it. So this kind of command turns uh, a template into a header file. And then we can use this header file in our own uh, C++ code. You have some data structure that has to match the, uh, the stuff that we do in the template. Uh, and then we initialize the data. We um, initialize a serializer, some serializer depending on the format uh, that we want to... It's not part of the talk. <laughs> Fire alarm is different. Into it, checking into fire systems. We don't know what's going on exactly yet. Okay. So. Okay. They are checking into the fire system and they don't know yet. So. Okay, so, <laughs> yes, no, no, 30 seconds left. Um, all right, so, um, yeah, we, so we uh, included, we generated um, a header file from, from the template. Uh, we included that uh, header file now in our own code, uh, have some data structure that we want to serialize or that we want to use in this template. Um, then we initialize the data with whatever, um, initialize a serializer. Again, the serializer um, should be chosen according to the format that we want to produce. Um, then initialize the, the template with the data and the serializer, and then call one of those functions that we have in the template, and this call, in this uh, case, is called render. And we call that, and uh, that will feed the, the text and the data into the serializer, which also does the escaping, um, 
and it will do the reasonable thing. In this case, we'll just print hello world, aka this uh, hash value for world. So that was simple. What else? Um, more fire alarm. Um, so uh, the, the whole syntax of this uh, template library fits in one slide. Um, so we have C++ code. We have these classes, which basically represent the, the templates. We have classes with inheritance, if you want that. Uh, you can compose them, so you can add other templates as members. We have the end class to, um, to, to mark the, the end of the template. We have expressions that are escaped, which is mostly the thing that you want to have. You ha can have more fire alarms, but you can also send data uh, in a raw format to, um, to the serializer. That's what this uh, raw thing is. Um, and you can uh, call other functions of your template, which typically are uh, void expressions. Um, then you have uh, markers for trimming, left or right, depending on where you position it. You have escape sequences for the special characters, and anything else which is inside a function is text, which is very useful because then makes it more readable, of course. All right. Um, what's left is the, the serializer. Um, for some uh, formats, there are serializers already existing. Uh, in case you have to write your own, it's also very simple. Um, you have to have at least two functions. One takes text and does something with it. Um, you have one function called escape, which takes whatever you want it to take um, and um, does something useful with it, um, um, serializing and escaping. Uh, you might want to have a raw function, depending on uh, whether you need it or not. And you might also add a function for reporting exceptions um, if you think that one of your expressions could actually throw something. In that case, uh, the template would give you the information of the line number, the expression that uh, threw the exception, and the exception pointer. All right, and if I make a mistake in the whole thing, um, then there is a good chance that, because all this is statically compiled, that you will get your, uh, your errors at compile time, not at runtime. so no 500 internal server errors and stuff like that. Okay, so in summary, um, it's just a dozen syntax elements, so very easy to learn. We have the full power of C++. Um, it's fit for all text formats via specific serializers. Um, it's statically compiled templates, so I think I kept it simple but not stupid. I'm looking forward for feedback, and thank you very much.